Today, let us explore WishKit, a simple to use framework that you can use to add feature requests to your app. So this is the landing page of WishKit and it's actually made by a fellow indie developer. So supporting them is always a good idea. And here you can see that it works both on macOS and on the iPhone. And I believe it works across uh, all of the uh, different Apple platforms. Today, we'll add it to an iOS app. And this is basically the resulting view that you will have. So you will have a feature wish list where your users can create new um, feature requests and they can also upvote existing feature requests. So you as a developer always know what your users care about. If that sounds interesting to you, I would appreciate if you would use my affiliate link for WishKit, which is the first link in the video description. And you can also see it on screen right now. So now looking at the GitHub repository for WishKit, they actually have a nice uh, and quick documentation here on how to set it up. So first of all, of course, we want to copy the repository URL and you can do that uh, yourself as well. And then I'll add it to this Xcode project here, which is an, a habit tracker that I'm working on. So I'll just paste it and hit add package and then let uh, Swift package manager quickly resolve the package URL and download all of the relevant files. And then I'm going to make sure to add it to the correct target. So I don't care about it in my widget extension. I need it in my main habit tracker app. So I will be placing the feature request view inside of this app's settings. So that's why I have the settings view open, but we will also need to open the um, Swift struct for our app. So uh, in this case, this is the habit tracker app.swift file. And in here, we will have to configure the framework wishkit with our API key. So for that, let's go back to the WishKit dashboard and create our API key. So over here in the WishKit dashboard, I can just click add, click add project. And then this page creates a new project for me. And I will, of course, call it habits because that's what my app is called. And then I have this API key here, which is, of course, blurred for you in the video. But I will just copy that API key and then I can use that to set up the framework in Xcode. And to see how that works, we will go back to GitHub. And you can see that is just a simple wishkit.configure with API key function. So let's do that next. Okay, so first of all, let's import wishkit here. And let's also make sure that it is set to an iPhone instead of my Mac in order for all of the UI kit imports to work. And I think we can ignore this issue for now as wishkit is indeed part of the package dependencies. And then in our initializer, we can say wishkit.configure with our API key. Now that we've done the configuration, we can now use this wishkit or it's actually called a feedback list view anywhere in our app. So I will just copy that. All right, so now inside of the settings view, I will just say import wishkit. And then I scroll down to this place here where I already decided to add the feedback list view. So in here, I will add a navigation link with a title key and a destination. And as the title key, I will say feature requests. And as the destination, I will add wishkit.feedback list view. So let's have a look at that in the simulator and see if that behaves the way that I want to or want it to behave. So let's look at the settings and then I will see we now have this feature request navigation link and going in there, we can see all of our feature requests. And right now there's of course one placeholder feature request. All right, so now we've completed everything that we have to do inside of our app. Of course, there is a lot of theming and configuration or configurations for all of the different UI elements in this uh, feedback list view. So you can have a look at the documentation here and uh, decide whether you want, for example, hide the comment section or if you want to change the primary color of the add button, which is by default set to green, for example. So now that we have all of that in place, let's jump back into our WishKit dashboard to understand how all of the feature requests work on that side. So being inside the WishKit dashboard now, we can see that we have our dropdown here with the different projects that we added. And the first one is, of course, habits. And then in here, we have our different boards with all of the different categories or different stages for feature requests. So if a user uh, creates a feature request, it will be landing in the pending uh, column here, and then we can move them forward or uh, backward to the other different columns. 
And then in here, we can also, of course, uh, change them. So if the user has a typo in there, or if you want to specify something more directly, then you can do that right here. And you can, of course, also delete feature requests. So let's delete this hello world request here, and then you can see it's gone. And now going back to the simulator, we can refresh this view, it's gone, and we can now create a, a new feature request. So let me call this one dummy request, and the description would be subscribe to flow writes code. And then we can add an optional email to get notified or uh, get some more information um, from the developer or the user can do that. We will hit save and then you will see it's not uh, in review yet. It's as I mentioned, sent to the pending column and it's already upvoted here. So now if we go back to the dashboard and reload the page, you will notice that uh, the feature request is now here in the pending column. And we can of course also create requests by hand or planned features by hand. So we can say that we are going to plan uh, like the video. So this is something that I have planned and let's move it into the correct column as well. And then uh, we can notice that if we go into planned and refresh, then we can see like the video is now here and the user can now uh, upvote the feature request. And if there are multiple feature requests, they will of course be sorted by uploads. So if you like the system and if you want to add this uh, possibility of creating feature requests in your app as well, I would very much appreciate it if you used my affiliate link, which is on screen right now or down in the video description.